Hey everybody, Frank from the Frankie Duty Channel. Uh, first and foremost, I'd just like to say I hope everybody have a very Merry Christmas. This is the day after Christmas and uh, I just wanted to go over my initial thoughts in an unboxing of the Mora Garberg Carbon. So I've wanted this knife for a long time and my wife actually got it for me for Christmas and super excited to just share it with you all and uh, get out in the woods and start using it. So this is the box that came in for knife Garberg Carbon. Initially I, I like the box because you know it's got a little real size photo here. The, front of the knife, the side of the knife, and then the sheath on the back along as, with some specs on the box too. There's two different sheaths that you can uh, choose to get with this knife. I actually chose the leather sheath because it's a little bit more old school. It kind of appeals to me more. There's also um, a plastic sheath you can get that's compatible with any kind of molly strap system. So anyway, there's a nice little snap on the front and there's a few rivets on the back of this sheath for the actual belt loop. So inside the sheath is our Mora Garberg. I'll go ahead and set the sheath down and just show you guys this beauty. So this is a Mora Garberg carbon. Um, Mora Garbergs were actually released, I believe, a couple years ago with a stainless steel blade. And they created a lot of buzz because, to my knowledge, it's Mora's first full tang knife. So the tang of the blade actually extends all the way through the handle. And you can see down through the butt of the handle here, there's actually a little bit of the tang protruding. Also, it's kind of nice because this edge and this edge are actually machined at 90 degrees to create a very crisp edge, which is ideal for fire starting, whether it be a flint or striking ferricosium rod. So just to show you, throws sparks very very easily from either side so it's very very ideal for fire starting I uh, I definitely was excited when I found out they were coming out with a carbon steel version of this knife the stainless looks awesome and it's really neat but there are some features of the carbon that I like for bushcraft um, I like the fact first off that uh, you can, like I mentioned a second ago, you can strike a flint off of this and get a spark due to the iron content of the blade versus stainless. You cannot do that. And I also like the fact, too, it's a little bit easier to sharpen in the field. So there are many cutting tasks that, you know, we as woodsmen have to do when we're in the field with, with a knife or, you know, a cutting tool. And to be able to easily sharpen it while you're out there is, is for me, very practical. Some of these stainless steel knives may hold their edge a little bit longer, but they're a little bit harder to sharpen. You might have to get a diamond sharpener, different things like that in order to get a good edge on them. So, I like this, this carbon blade. I also have a bushcraft knife that has a stainless steel blade on it. I just wanted to get something different too to, to learn a little bit more about it. So, the handle on this knife is very nice too. It's a very ergonomic handle. I, I like it a lot. I can tell that you know anyway at this point that it seems like I'll probably be comfortable after hours of use. I have a knife that a uh, Benchmade Bushcrafter actually it's a little bit uncomfortable with the handle after extended periods of use I don't think that'll be the case with this. It's a very ergonomic handle on here. I like it quite a bit. Um, so it's a Scandi grind blade profile which a lot of people say is ideal for bushcraft and it's widely considered one of the best blade profile types for bushcraft cutting tasks and I, I agree with that and it's easy to sharpen too. This company uh, Moore Knife is made in Sweden and they have a great reputation they're known for making very high quality products for a very cost-effective price so Again, super excited to get this knife. There's a little lanyard hole back here, too. You could put a piece of paracord or something through it. I'll probably do that down the road. So, this is, to me, just a really nice, really nice setup. Really excited to, to use it. Um, last thing I, I want to mention on here is that it's actually got a titanium oxide coating on here. It's a hard, dark, scratch-resistant coating that helps prevent uh, corrosion or, or rust from occurring. Now, when, when you do need to sharpen this, this blade, however, you will actually remove some of that coating along the actual cutting edge. And when you do, it could be a little bit more susceptible for rust, so you have to keep up with oil. Um, I like to use 
vegetable oil or olive oil because then you can still prepare food with this knife versus some kind of mechanical oil so it's something to think about anyway I'm really excited to get out in the woods and to start using this knife I want to keep this video short this is just my initial thoughts my unboxing this is what you'll get if you decide to buy one of these knives I think they're about a hundred dollars as of the end of 2018 so just a uh, razor sharp knife out of the box very well designed and so far I'm, I'm, I'm really really digging it so anyway as always I appreciate you guys watching I'll see you guys in the next video and remember get out in the woods have some fun